the Financial Survival Network, helping you to survive and thrive in the new economy. This is the Financial Survival Network. Financial Survival Network is presented to you by Regal Assets. Buy and sell physical gold and silver through your existing retirement plan, 100% tax-free with Regal Assets. If you want to include physical gold or silver in your existing IRA or old 401k, request your free investment kit, which was recently featured in the Forbes and Smart Money Wall Street Journal magazines. Call toll-free 855-678-6620, 855-678-6620, or visit regalassets.com. And it's time for another Triple Lutz Report. This is episode 205. It is August 26th, 2012. A very compelling, great article by our friends over at the economiccollapseblog.com. Startling evidence that central banks and Wall Street insiders are rapidly preparing for something big. The question is, are the government and the big banks quietly preparing for an imminent financial collapse? We know that the government has required these too big to fails and many other large financial institutions to come up with what they call living wills. So if it all hits the fan, pretty much they can come up with a plan that will enable them to liquidate within 30 days. This is not realistic because when it hits the fan, nobody is going to be able to liquidate anything, which is why it's going to hit the fan. And the concept that they would have 30 days to just orderly wind down their operations is absurd. So he's talking about 600 banking executives have resigned from their positions over the past 12 months. Well, you've got tens of thousands of bank execs, many of which have not, uh, many of whom have not resigned from their positions. So I don't think that's dispositive in and of itself, but it could be an indicator. As he asks, why is George Soros selling so much stock and buying so much gold? And Soros and the entities he controls, hedge funds, selling off banking stocks, and they're buying up GLD. Now, I know he's a savvy investor and all that. Why isn't he buying up Sprott? Why isn't he buying up Central Fund of Canada? Those are vehicles that actually have the metal that they claim to have. Talks about central banks hoarding gold. We all know that. Russia, China, Kazakhstan, Korea, they're all snapping up gold. India, of course. Talks about rampant inside selling. Rampant insider selling. Wall Street insiders have been dumping tons of stock this year. And many executives are issuing cautiously optimistic guidance for the rest of the year. But while they're saying one thing, they're selling. So you got to be wondering about that. But I'm not sure that the insiders really know. Certainly the Facebook debacle could have set this trend off. Then why does the government need so much ammunition? They bought hundreds of millions of rounds for Homeland Security, Social Security, is buying hollow points. It seems that maybe uh, maybe they're going to go on a new currency standard, and that will be the ammo standard. And the unit of measure will be a round of ammo, the unit of currency. And if you have a 22 round, well, that's only going to be worth the equivalent of a dime. But if you have a 45 caliber round or a 9 millimeter, it's going to be worth more. You know, kind of silly, I know. But look, this is, this is the kind of things that they do. And the government, you know, they know their, their information is much better than anything that you or I can possibly uh, get a hold of. You know, they'll know this thing's coming and maybe they're setting it off on purpose the more things happen, the more I begin to believe that that is in fact true. But there's one point that I'm hoping to make here is that you need to be prepared. 
You need to expect the unexpected. Expect that the financial system is going to collapse. Certainly, in light of what we've seen over the past four or five years, it seems very possible. And lately, many of the contributors to the financial survival network.com have been talking about this very thing. Arch Crawford, okay, Gerald Salenti. Gerald Salenti's often talking about it. A whole lot of different people are coming out and talking about the imminent collapse ahead. And Sprott's talking about it. And I don't consider Eric Sprott to be an alarmist. And yet, he is extremely concerned about the viability of the system and its ability to continue on and what is going to take its place. Because we all know that once there's no money, once the paper currencies have failed, there has to be a new system put into place almost immediately to avoid chaos, to avoid social social breakdown, to avoid wide-scale civil unrest. And I don't know if the government is thinking about it or not. I've got to assume that they are. All of these FEMA camps, whether you believe in them or not, I know for a fact that the government does have detention camps in place. I don't know that there's 800 of them. I don't know that they plan to lock up the entire population. I rather doubt that. But the troublemakers, however that term is defined, are going to find themselves in one of these camps, one way or the other. So point is, you can buy gold, you can buy silver. Maybe you don't need a lot of it. Buy some food. We've got a great sponsor coming on real soon called preparewise.com. Really good. Their stuff actually tastes good. I've just bought a whole bunch of it. I'm going to be doing some reviews on the quality. What I've seen so far, they've been in business a couple of decades. These guys know what they're doing, and they're not going to give you a bunch of, uh, of glop, a bunch of gruel. Their meals designed to last a long time. I don't believe in stockpiling years and years of food. Honestly, I kind of agree with Gerald Salente on that point, and he was on the show. A couple of weeks to a month, probably what you need. A water filter makes good sense. Some means of self-defense, also a good idea. But look, these guys are preparing. They know something's afoot. And you need to think about it as well. Because we're in a period of lawlessness now. The social order is still standing up by some means. I don't know how. We all expected it to collapse much sooner. But the rule of law doesn't exist anymore. We have the rule of men. We have executive order after executive order that potentially will choke off all of our constitutional freedoms. We see a guy like Brandon Raub, who, from what I've read, his Facebook posts do not rise to the level of a threat to the government, uh, no more than the Beatles song Revolution did. Um, maybe because he's an ex-Marine and an engineer, the government believed he had the capability of performing some of these so-called threats. But look, if they really believed this guy was a danger... They wouldn't have thrown him into a mental hospital. They would have arrested him, and they would have had grounds to arrest him. The fact that they tossed the kid into a mental hospital tells me they didn't have a good enough criminal case, and he would have been let free by a judge. But by getting him civilly committed to a mental institution, they could have kept him there indefinitely. So the NDAA that provides for indefinite detention of American citizens hasn't quite gone into effect yet. On its face, I don't believe that it was a threat, but in the hands of the sociopaths who are running this country, it is certainly a threat and one that you need to be aware of because no one can look around at the state of the United States today and say that our freedoms are not being greatly attacked, eroded, and diminished. It's a fact. I'm not making it up. It's not an original idea. They've been diminished and eroded from the moment that the Federal Reserve was put into an existence in 1914. The trend has been picking up steam ever since World War I, 
And now we find ourselves where we find ourselves. And what I'm hoping is that you will prepare. You'll make your financial survival plan. You'll make your personal survival plan, your community survival plan. All these things are required because they're insurance policies. You know, no plan survives the first three seconds of battle. We all know that. But certainly, if you have a plan, you're going to be better off than the person next to you who doesn't. And if your plan includes some possession of precious metals, stocking up of some essential food stocks, medications, and other essentials, even even we're talking disposable razors, if you don't want to look like uh, the guys in ZZ Top because you can't buy razors and shaving cream, or at least razors, then you better stock up on some razors and common medications, Aleve, cough syrup, whatever you think you might need, stock up on it, 90, 180 days supply. So six months, distribution breaks down, you're okay. Am I predicting a Mad Max scenario? I don't think so. But I am predicting, and you know I'm predicting, rough times for all. And to me, the canary in the silver mine and the gold mine, prices are going up now. They've broken out. They're exceeding a number of different indicators, getting close to or breaking through the 200-day moving average, which is a biggie. They've all broken through their 50-day moving averages. These are indications. So kudos to the economiccollapseblog.com and did a great job. Thanks so much. We will talk to you soon. This has been another Triple Lutz Report. Kerry Lutz, signing off.